Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This general problem says that a car starts from rest at a stop sign, and then it accelerates at two meters per second squared for six seconds, coasts for two seconds, and then slows down at a rate of 1.5 meters per second squared for the next stop sign, and asks how far apart are the stop signs. So if we draw a picture of what's going on, is we have three sections. Right here, we have a stop sign, and then here we have the other stop sign. So for this first section, this is where we're accelerating. And then they tell us that we coast for a certain amount of time. And then we slow down. So we're decelerating for a certain amount of time. And then we stop for the last stop sign. They want us to find out what is the total distance in between the two stop signs. So we'll do it chunk by chunk. For this first section, let's make a list of the variables that we know. So they tell us that we're starting from rest, so the initial velocity is zero meters per second. We accelerate at two meters per second squared, so acceleration is a positive two meters per second squared. And then the time for this first section is six seconds. So now we can use a kinematic equation that's just an expansion of the acceleration formula, which is V final is equal to V initial plus acceleration times time. All that they did is they broke up delta V to final minus initial and then added over initial velocity to this side. But we don't have to worry about that because the initial velocity is zero. So the final velocity will help us figure out how far we went for this first section. So that gives us the acceleration is two meters per second squared times the time, which is six seconds. So that is two times six. So we have 12 meters per second for the final velocity at this point. We'll use that in the second section, but first now let's figure out the x final. So we'll use x final is equal to x initial plus vi times t plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. The x initial is zero and the initial velocity are also zero. So now the x final is equal to one half the acceleration times the time squared. So when we plug that in, we have one half the acceleration we said is two meters per second squared. And then the time squared was six seconds squared. So 0.5 times two times six squared gives us a distance of 36 meters. So we have 36 meters for the first section. So let's put that up here. So 36 meters. Now we'll do the second section. And for this one, we've already found some information that we'll need. We need to figure out how far we went. So let's use the same equation that we just used. X final is equal to X initial plus velocity initial times time for this section plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. So for this one, we can't simplify a whole lot, but we are going at a constant acceleration. So that is zero. So that can go away because we're not speeding up or slowing down. So the initial X is going to be 36 meters because that's where we're starting this section right here. And we need to use the initial velocity that we found right here. So we have 12 meters per second and times the time for the second section, it coasts for two seconds. So we have 36 plus 12 times two is 24 plus 12 times two. So we have 60. So up to the end of this section, we have 60, but I'll put 24 for how far we went for this section. So X final is equal to 60 meters. So now for the last one, let's go down a little bit. They say that we slow down at a rate of 1.5 meters per second squared for this last section. So three is going to be an acceleration of negative 1.5 meters per second squared. We don't know how long we were going here though, and we don't know how far we went. And so we can't directly use a kinematic equation. We need to solve for time first to figure out how long we were driving for this last section. So V final is equal to V initial plus acceleration times time. And we'll isolate the time here. So we'll subtract over the initial velocity. So we have V final minus V initial is equal to acceleration times time. We'll divide both sides of the equation by acceleration. So we have time is equal to 
the this is zero because we're stopping. So negative velocity initial divided by acceleration. For the section right before this, they said that we are coasting. So initially we're still going at the same speed. We haven't started slowing down yet. So it'll be the negative 12 meters per second. And we'll divide that by the acceleration, which we said was negative 1.5 meters per second squared. The meters per second will cancel, leaving us with seconds, which is the time that we need. So now we have negative 12 divided by a negative 1.5 will give us 8. So the time for the last section, section is 8 seconds. Now we can plug this in finally to figure out how far we went for the last section. But we're going to do it all in one go. Because if you look at the equation that we used before, it takes into account where we started out. And we said that that was 60. So we can plug in 60 here. And the answer that this will give us will be the final distance between the two stop signs. Um, plus 1 half times acceleration times the time squared. And so we have 60 meters plus the initial acceleration for this section, again, was 12 meters per second. And then times the time we found was 8 seconds for this section, plus 1 half times the acceleration, which we said is negative 1.5 meters per second squared, times the time of 8 seconds squared. All right, so 60 plus 12 times 8, and then we'll add 0.5 times negative 1.5 times the time of 8 seconds squared. So the total distance between the two stop signs is 108 meters for this problem.